Hey everybody, I just want to make a quick announcement, but before I do that, also a quick plug to my own personal Discord. It's called Cherry Bong's Keck Arena. I know it's kind of cringy, but um, the whole idea is that I just want to get some people to, you know, like, chat with me a bit. I've been working on my videos, sharing my content in this little Discord here. And I hope that if we can reach something like maybe 30, maybe 40 players in this uh, Discord, that we could start a tournament at that point with uh, a relative amount of signups and stuff. I haven't been super active lately with, with it, but I want to get this place to grow a bit. Anyways, moving on to the topic of today. They just announced something yesterday that is the overused ladder achievements in all old gens, including Generation 2. Now, I'm going to be focusing on Generation 2, but it's pretty much the same for all of these old gens here. So, Sia Tom launched the thread for the Gen 2 ladder achievements. I also gave some suggestions for ladder achievements, which we'll see in a second. So, the whole idea is that old gens are awesome. Everybody loves them, but... Sometimes it's hard to gauge the right amount of interest. And you definitely know that if you follow my channel for Gen 2 content and you have played on Showdown before. Because, well, the Generation 2 ladder sometimes is a bit... <laughs> um, it's one of the most cursed ladders because it takes forever to find a battle. Especially in lower tiers, but we're not, for now we're just focusing on overused. So, they decided to launch these achievements basically to get some interest. Now, there are lots of people that play and will play anyways. They're not necessarily interested in having their name up on a wall. But if you are interested and you're someone who's like a fan of uh, Smogon stuff, then you, you can you can flex. You get your first opportunity to, you know, strive towards a certain goal and your name will be listed up on this wall. So that's really good, right? Plus, if you get all, you can get all these different challenges. You can work towards different goals. You can get bronze, silver, gold. And if you get a certain amount in all of... If you get, like, a certain level in all of these, like all bronze or all silver, then you get certain rewards. If you reach platinum, then you get this custom avatar right here. Bam. Looks really good. I have no idea who this guy is, but still, I kind of like it. A shiny T-Tar avatar. I don't know. Personally, I never reached 1500 ELO, even though GSC is like my main. But I've been trying to get into the ladder mentality a bit, so who knows? Maybe down the line I'll be able to do it. Maybe I'll do some videos on this. So let's have a look at what these challenges comprise. Now, first of all, the challenges can be achieved at any moment in time. You don't have a deadline by which you have to get it. Um, also, your... Uh, you don't have to necessarily, you know, show what your alt is if you don't want to reveal your teams or whatever. You don't, because you do need to share screenshots and replays for proof. You can just PM the um, uh, Siatam in this case. Anyways, you have the Brave achievement, the Ability achievement, the Knowledge achievement, and the Tactics tactics achievement these are the easiest way to measure your skill level if you want so if you can reach the top 100 you get a bronze in uh, the ladder right so you get if you reach the top 100 in the ladder top 10 silver top 3 gold and if you top the ladder you get platinum all you need at that point is a screenshot make sure you don't lose another game <laughs> you know and uh yeah then there's the ability achievement. So reach a certain GXE. This one is probably the easiest in my opinion. Because I've definitely reached bronze at one point. Um, maybe even silver. But uh, this is doable. You, this is doable also because you don't get too penalized for losing a game. Especially if you lose a game against a strong guy. So GXE is one of the best metrics of someone's skill level. Then there is the ELO. Which is... Which would be a good metric of measuring someone's skill level, but I don't... Frankly, I don't really think that 
there's much of a difference between someone at 1500 and someone at 1300 maybe 1700 we're already starting to notice something so bronze 1500 silver 1550 gold 1600 and platinum 17. and then there's the win streak win streak is probably one of the hardest because all kinds of hacks can happen you just got to make sure you save all the replays for that one but I've even seen Earthworm win like 40 straight games by using just Venusaur. So, you know, I mean, he is one of the best at the tier, but, you know. Then there are also the for fun challenges. And if I understand correctly, you have to achieve these as well in order to unlock the custom avatar. So the first one is your spirits achievement. Want to break the mold? Reach a certain elo without Snorlax on your team. So, you know, that's manageable. You got to be a little bit creative with your team build. Then there's the guts achievement. Who uses top tiers? Reach a certain elo with at least three borderline or lower mons. So that's another achievement. Same idea. Um, platinum is just to reach 1500. So you probably need to provide replays. Yeah, you got to save them all. So yeah. So then there's the luck achievement. So the luck achievement is something that involves four subcategories. They're a little bit easier, but they're kind of fun. So on a diet, form over function, kaboom, and the one I came up with, over under achiever. So on a diet, you cannot use leftovers on your team. So you gotta win one single game. Then form over function, you use shinies. In case you don't know, in gen two, um, the game was programmed so that shinies are dependent on DVs and you can only get a certain set of DVs. So you don't have optimal stats if you use shinies. Then you, kaboom, you have to use five explosions or self-destructs in a single game and win. And then there is over or under achiever. You cannot use any OU Pokemon. This reminds me of a time where I got completely destroyed by uh, Holly on ladder and she used an entire team of underused mons. Anyway. There you go. So I hope you guys will enjoy this and I hope that this is gonna help um, bring a little bit of extra flavor to the ladder and some life too. And yeah, I just wanted to make this announcement here. I hope you guys are excited as I am to, to do this and you know, I'll see you down the line. I got some more videos coming up. Bye.